you get it on and lock it on and latch it like that. One of our objectives in this study was there's a lot of interest in mobile drip irrigation but there's no data. So a lot of people still have questions on whether it works or it doesn't work. And if it works, what's the marginal benefit compared to other efficient systems that are already being used in this area, like the in-canopy spray. This is our VRI system. And we can choose whichever zones that we want to irrigate. So we'll be measuring uh, irrigation application efficiencies of the mobile drip versus the spray application but we're also interested in measuring the crop water use efficiency or water productivity which is simply the yield per unit of water applied we have a neutron probe that gives us very detailed uh, soil moisture to several feet uh, below the ground but we also have uh, water potential sensors. We're measuring those up to 36 inches and we're measuring soil moisture every 30 minutes. And that data is available on the web. Uh, it comes directly from the sensors, so you can access it anytime. Uh, we also have the ability to monitor the whole sprinkler system uh, remotely on a on a mobile platform, on a phone or an iPad or something like that. This is important for us because we want to monitor the system and make sure that uh, our experiments are doing what we expect them to be doing. We'll be able to answer some of these questions indirectly over time by observing the system. But I, I can say there's a lot of interest given that our water supplies are declining and we don't have much options but to become as efficient as we can be.